What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. My name is Harmon. Today's episode features a shooting that happened at the University of Iowa campus. The shooting happened on November 1st, 1991. Uh, a former student at the university named Gang Lu, he was 28 years old, he was the one who went and shot five people and they all died. So I just wanted to give you guys a background on Gang Lu and kind of give you a reason why he did what he did. Six months before the shooting happened, Gang Lu graduated from here in May of 1991. He actually got his doctoral degree in physics and astronomy. Without knowing the full story, you might be wondering like, what on earth? Like he graduated from here with a doctoral degree? Why would he go shoot people here? I was wondering that myself um, until I read up more upon what happened. Uh, so he wrote a very well-informed dissertation. And with this dissertation, if you want it, you were, you're able to get a $2,500 um, basically prize for getting the best dissertation. So he was really, really hoping that he would win um, the top prize and get the $2,500 and get the recognition. And he thought by winning the top prize that it would help him actually get a better job here in the United States. So he put in all the time and effort into the dissertation and he ended up not getting the prize money. His dissertation apparently didn't win. He was not happy about that. He thought it was a guarantee that he would probably win it and he thought that it was a guarantee that he would get a good job if he won it. So he was looking at uh, getting a postdoctoral researcher position. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Since he didn't win the prize money, he, he couldn't support himself. He kind of thought that there wasn't really any other options now um, to get a good job, which of course wasn't true. If you, if he, with any kind of really good degree like that, he probably could have gotten any kind of job, honestly. But in his mind, uh, that kind of was the final straw. Uh, the months prior to the shooting, he ended up sending five different letters um, explaining the reasons for, for committing the shooting. Four of the letters were written in English and then one was written in Chinese and they were all sent off to varying, I don't know, it doesn't really say, but I think he sent them off to, dif to different like news outlets and, and other people. So Gang Lu decided to put his plan into action and commit the shootings. So on November 1st, 1991, it was a Friday, Gang Lu went into the Van Allen Hall. He went there initially to attend a, uh, some sort of seminar. Just only a couple minutes after the meeting started, Gang Lu pulled out his gun and started shooting. He had a 38 caliber revolver, um, that was his weapon of choice, and he shot and killed several of the attendees there at the seminar. And they were Christopher Gortz. He was a professor of astronomy and physics. And Gertz was apparently one of Lou's chairman of, the, of his dissertation. I guess he was on the chair board, um, one of the people deciding if Gang Lou's dissertation should win the top prize or not. So Christopher was someone that Lou knew and promptly shot and killed him. So the second person who he shot and killed was a guy named Robert Smith, who also was one of the chairpersons on Gang Lu's dissertation. Third person he shot and killed was someone named Lin Hao Shan. He shot and killed Dwight Nicholson. And Dwight was one of the other people that were on the dissertation committee. Gang Lu basically took out the people that were on the committee that decided he wouldn't win the prize, and he took out the person who actually won it. Basically a full-on revenge. The last person he shot and killed was in a totally separate building. He walked several blocks to the Jessup Hall where a lady named Ann Cleary was at. And Ann Cleary, who was like the grievance coordinator, knew Gang Lu as well because Gang Lu filed several grievances to Cleary about not winning you guessed it, the prize money, which how can you blame them if, if someone wins a prize outright? Making a grievance about it isn't gonna change anything. He shot and killed uh, Ann Cleary as well. 
total, he shot and killed five people. So besides the five people that he shot and killed, he shot one other person, a girl named Maya Rodolfo. And apparently that shooting was kind of random. She didn't die at the scene. She got paralyzed though um, and ended up dying um, in 2008. Gang Lu wanted to kill the university president. The university president at the time was at a football game. And so thankfully they were nowhere near this area. Police found Gang Lu dead from a shot to the head. So Gang Lu's rampage lasted only about 10 minutes. All right, after quite a bit of walking, found the hall uh, where the shooting took place. Um, and if you're not familiar with the University of Iowa campus, it's so big, there's probably at, at least 10 to 12 or more uh, separate halls where they have, you know, of course, different classes. The one behind me with spray paint is a biology hall. This uh, University of Iowa campus is so huge. It's, it's just blowing my mind. The architecture of these buildings around here for the campus and uh, whatever is in front of me, this big gold dome, they, it all just reminds me of like what the state capital of Iowa would look like. Mind you, th this building right here is part of the University of Iowa. Like this isn't just some random downtown, you know, area where people are spray painting. Like they're spray painting like the nice buildings here in the university campus. Spray painting buildings and causing mayhem is not, is not the solution or the answer to fixing any kind of police problems. I did some more research and I, I just realized that the building with the gold dome uh, used to be the old state capitol. I was like, why does this look so much like a state capitol? It's because it used to be the state capitol. It's now apparently a part of the part of the museum in the area. And so it's, it's surrounded by the University of Iowa campus. Though. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're new around here, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell next to it um, if you enjoy this kind of content. And uh, until next time, my name is Harmon, and I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.